difficult prayer. This, this may not be relatable for everyone, but for those who can relate to this, I hope you get something out of it. And I want you to know that I struggle with it too. And that's why I'm making a video about it because I figured if I'm struggling with it, then maybe some of you guys might be. So that difficult prayer is praying for our enemies. And I don't know if people that, that were supposed to love you is considered an enemy or not, but, um, but regardless, I, I, I still struggle with it. And as a lot of you already know that I was given up for an adoption and the people who adopted me were, uh, did not treat me well at all. And I really, I, I really wanted to one day tell the whole story about what happened there because it's, it's, it's jaw dropping some of the things I, I, I want to tell you guys, but I'm not ready yet. But maybe one day in the future, I'll share it. But, and I know my situation is not unique. I know a lot of you guys have gone through a lot of pain, you know, with people who were supposed to love you and your parents and it's been very difficult to, to get over that because that, that wounds you the most because it's the people that are supposed to love you that, that wrongs you. And it's easier to, to forgive the world because you understand that, but, but when it's people that were supposed to, to love you the most that does it, it, it just really affects you. So, and, and how it really affects me is like when I start praying, when I start praying for for the people who have wronged me, who have wounded me, it's, it's difficult for me to, to get their names out. And I'm gonna be honest with that. And I, I don't know, I don't know if it's the enemy who's trying to, to hinder my prayer, or I don't know if I pray for them because that's what God expects for me to do, to, to pray for them. Uh, and I'm always questioning my heart. I'm like, is that, is my prayer being, is it sincere? Is it traveling through my, from my heart out of my mouth or or am I just giving God lip service on on just adding their names um so I question myself about that and but I, I think that that we need to remind ourselves of what we wrestle with and we do wrestle with these principalities these these dark spirits and they're in they're, they're in these people I I can almost guarantee that a lot of people that we're praying for for aren't saved and we've got to realize what is in there what is driving these people to do the things that they do and I think I think that that it also hurts us because because we want them to feel something we want them to come to realization that that they impacted your life and not for the good and and a lot of them don't want to acknowledge it and come to the terms of it. And the demon that's in them don't want them to. And but we're we're here waiting for that apology. I know I had been before I got saved. I waited for a long time because I wanted them to to realize it, and they never they never did. And here they are going on with their life, and I'm I'm here in my in my little dark cloud. And um, so so I I know it, it is it's very very difficult and, and my cloud was very dark because before I got saved with, with my adopted family especially my mother I would envision going to her house and just taking a knife and just stabbing her and I would try to think of how I'd get away with it and everything and they also live around canyons too and I would vision myself taking her up there and just pushing her off the ledge i mean that's how sinister my mind was working and even with my real mother i would envision pushing her pushing her right in front of a bus and, and you know it's my my it was it was my pain it, it was just very difficult um but you know i, I have a lot of clients too and i and they talk to me about their their uh, their childhood, their bad childhood. And I always ask them, I ask them, I said, if your parents, dad or mother, whoever hurt you, if they sincerely apologize to you, would, would that help your wound heal? And every single time, every time they say yes. But, but you know, um, 
but you know we we're gonna be waiting for a long time for those apologies y'all we just need to move on from that and 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 just pray for it i mean i because i know i've tried asking for apology i mean going to the people who've hurt me to get them to apologize which sometimes they did but it was so insincere their apology didn't come from the heart it was it was like an apology just to get you to shut up you know how like your parents tell you when you were a kid tell your brother you're sorry and you're like sorry and you just know that it wasn't sincere and it's kind of like an adult insincere sorry that kind of child version of it and, and they're not they'll say it just to, to get you to get off the topic and get you to shut up about it and um and so as a result that that pain that wound still stays open but but we need we do need to forgive them and and i want to make it clear though because i wasn't sure when i first got saved because i was like gosh does that mean if i forgive them that means i have to like be with them no it doesn't mean that when when you forgive someone that doesn't mean you have to have coffee and tea every week you can forgive them without um without having that communication without hanging out with them but you just have to forgive them in your heart so and you know how y'all it's it, these demons they're in a lot they're on almost everybody i had a client one time y'all she used to be my regular she came she came to get a massage and so as soon as I saw her, she was like, guess what? And I was like, what? She's like, I'm getting a divorce. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so as I got her on the table, she's still talking about this divorce she has and how she already had a little boyfriend at her work that she's, that's she's been helping her deal with all this. And she can't wait to be away from her, her low-life husband who's mooching off of her. And, um, and this woman's really, exp uh, she's like in her late, 40s and she's really successful she dresses well she's in shape she's healthy she's got money she's got a great job she's the all-american person so anyway i'm massaging her back and and all of a sudden out of the side of her torso morphed a demon y'all i kid you not i'm telling you, i'm not i'm not kidding it it was a demon that morphed out of her and it was kind of like it looked like you know how those lava lamps and you have that like that bubble and then one bubble will merge out of that that one bubble here it was kind of like that it's like a black mass and it came out of the side of her so y'all i'm telling you, the the enemy is real they are they are in people and and that's what's driving them to act the way that they do and um but these demons don't want that person to see how wrong they are. They, they want them to continue on inflicting uh, wounds and pains on, on everyone. And they don't want them to realize it. And, but we still need to pray for them, you all. And, um, and, and, and when you do struggle at that point of your prayer, remember what we are wrestling with, okay?